Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another installment in the Luxury Will I Buy It series. But here on my channel, we like to add a little French twist. So for collections we do want, we say oui. And for collections we don't want, we say non merci. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service, which is where you get the chance to talk to me one-on-one -on -one through a Zoom chat. This is great because you don't have to share my attention with 15,000 other people. It's just one-on-one. -on -one. You get my undivided attention and you can just pick my brain about any beauty concern you might have. So to make an appointment, just click the link in the description box down below. Okay, so will I buy it? We. Oui. No merci. We must kick this off with some new photos we have seen online of the Chanel Les Beiges 2022. This is very exciting. So I have a couple of accounts here on Instagram. The first one is Klinger Tracy, and they have the new Les Beiges promo here. Now I believe this is in Japanese, so I can't translate everything here for you, but. We have here the Jumbo Les Beige uh, Healthy Glow Compact. Now I believe this will be one and a half times the size of a regular compact. And we also have some nail polishes here on the side. I'm excited to see these nail polishes in color, specifically for the white nail polish. I love a white manicure. When they came out with a white nail polish a couple of years ago, I regret not getting multiple backups but i'm hoping this one here will be just as opaque however i have a sneaking suspicion that this is going to have the slightest pearlescent shift to it i think that the the series here is going to have just like a whisper of like a pearlescent shift i think it's going to be very opaque but with a little bit of a shift and i've heard a lot of people ask and question about the le beige this summer the summer makeup collections for this year it's going to be very precise from chanel it's not going to be huge extensive collections so for the le beige there are going to be two colors in this compact i love the quilt to me it looks like a classic chanel flat bag just the quilting i think it looks gorgeous there will be two shades to choose from one thing to keep in mind like let's just look at this photo keep this color or these colors in mind because I have other photos I want to show you and the shades look very different. However, these are still promo photos. So we do have to keep this with a grain of salt. And I've had people ask like, is there going to be eyeshadows or lipsticks? There is not going to be an official Le Beige eyeshadow palette um, or lipsticks, but I imagine that when you go in store, you're going to see products re-promoted. Like in the display with the Le Beige compacts, you're also going to see the Volume de Chanel. They're probably going to put one or two of the Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks, like Boy. They might take one or two of the classic Le Beige palettes and put them there, like the eyeshadow palettes. So it's going to be more precise and this, allegedly, is going to come out early June. I would say between like the 1st and like the 15th of June, something like that. Like at the beginning of June, some places might have it at the end of May. It's going to be end of May, early to mid-June, just depending on where you live. Around this time, we are also supposed to have the launch of the Chanel Water Fresh Tint Blushes. This came out like the water fresh tint complexion uh, item originally came out with the Le Beige so I think if they end up promoting the water fresh tint blushes with the Le Beige this summer I would not be surprised and in the Le Beige water fresh tint this one here my beloved we are also going to see a second item added it's going to be the water fresh tint but it's going to look a little bit different and it's going to offer more coverage. So this is not being discontinued, knock on wood. It's staying, they're just adding to the family with one that offers more coverage and then one that looks like this, but a blush. So 
I was told sometime in June for this series here of the Water Fresh Tint, barring some delays and complications, it should come out at the same time. So if all of a sudden you see all of this you know, promoted with the Le Beige, don't be surprised. To me, it would make sense because this to me seems like Le Beige. When I think of Le Beige, I think healthy glow, natural, a little bit of a bronze beachside look. Uh, but let's go ahead and switch to a different account here. This is Voss Magazine, and they have other photos here of the compact. Now, the photos, like the product looks very different. They look much lighter here than in the first photo. And apparently the shades here are going to have either a tender pale or a soft peach. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, they look very light to me. Like when I like when I said earlier, I think of Le Beige, I think of like beach side, I think a little bit more color to be honest. So I'm hoping that this is just the lighting because this is very pale. I was hoping to see more color, but I don't know how opaque these are going to be. If these are going to be semi-translucent or very light or have lots of color payoff. I don't know. And there's going to be a limited edition loose powder. This already exists, this Healthy Glow loose powder, but this one here is supposed to come out limited edition. I think it's supposed to have some sort of like pink or lilac hue to it. I don't know about that. That does not seem for me. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. They do also have these universal loose powders that are translucent. So time will tell, I don't, I can't tell. Uh, but then I also have one last account here to show you. This is Sugar Kondo. And here is just another close up of the Jumbo Le Beige. I love the CC, I love the beige color, beige on black. I think it looks gorgeous, I love it. And you can see that the quilting looks like a little CC compact. I love this. I hope that the shades are good because Chanel is not always known for being super inclusive and I would be disappointed if they just have like pale pink lilac shades to offer. You know, it's like Le Beige. We're supposed to be tanned. What about the people who are naturally tan? Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Time will tell. Um, for me, this Le Beige collection will be a oui, a definite oui. I don't know which color I will get. I may get the darker one, which is surprising, but like I said, they're not always spectacular with their shade range. Um, I probably will be able to create my own Le Beige look with everything that I have because I have a few of the Le Beige eyeshadow palettes. I have a lot of lipsticks, mascaras, etc. So I think this is going to be a very concise summer collection, but like I said, there's going to be others added and I really hope they all come out at the same time because to me the other collections look like beautiful summer releases. Okay, now we are moving on to Diptyque. Mm, I love Diptyque. I love their candles. I love their candles to repurpose them and turn them into makeup brush holders or um, like lip gloss holders or eyeliner holders or whatever. They're fabulous and they have a new City Candles collection. They came out with this, I think every year, where they just pick like a handful of cities and create like limited edition packaging and they create scents that are supposed to like embody the city. I'm waiting to see Montreal, not yet. It says here that Diptyque has captured the personality of 10 inspiring cities in 10 scented candles. Each creation in the City Candles collection is an expression of the Maison's vision of a unique design and signature scent. This year, they introduced a picking or Beijing to the collection, an homage to the ancient city, to the ancient and majestic city. So. A lot of these cities have been there for a few years, like Paris, New York, London, uh, Hong Kong, Berlin, Shanghai, Miami, Tokyo, and Beverly Hills. And so they added Peking this year. Honestly, they all look really pretty. I don't know if I'm going to be more persuaded by the color 
or by the scents. The Beverly Hills one is calling my name a little bit because it's giving me summer. Like the turquoise vibe is giving me summer, but the scents or the notes for Beverly Hills are freesia, mint, and lemon. That sounds very fresh. It sounds very clean, very nice. It sounds like the candle that you light. You know when you do a deep clean of your house and then you light a candle and then it's like, okay, everyone in the house, don't touch anything. Everything has been clean. This is what Beverly Hills, <laughs> what the notes make me think of. But I guess I could purchase more of these because like I said, uh, the city collection has been out for a couple of years. Like this is not completely new, but Peking is new. Peking, the notes are sandalwood, magnolia, and green tea. That also sounds lovely. Hmm. I mean, listen, there's no wrong answer here. It's really just what calls to your heart. Are you going with the notes? Maybe a city, maybe you've been to one of these cities and you have fond memories or whatever it may be, but I don't know. I think this is a peut-être, a maybe. I definitely won't get all 11 of these candles. That's way too much. I mean, over the years, I will get many more, but all at once, non merci. So I might get one, but to be honest with Diptyque, I really like their permanent collection item because, or permanent collection items, because I really like the clear glass and I mean, I do like the limited edition coloring, but I do really like how clean it looks. So it's a peut-être, it's a maybe. Let me know in the comments. Okay, moving on to Guerlain. We have some new lip products here. This is the Kiss Kiss B Glow Lipstick Balm. Now, at first, when I saw this, I was like, I really don't need this, like, easy pass. But... When it comes to lip products, I don't know why, but this is the one item that I can easily keep adding to my collection. Like a lip product, a lip balm, a lip gloss, lip oil, tinted lip moisturizer, whatever you want to call it. When it comes to lips, this is the one category of product that I can very easily keep adding and adding and adding to. So now I'm like, I could get this. These are a satin finish. They're supposed to be medium coverage. They're supposed to be hydrating. It's described as a creamy tinted lip balm infused with honey and 98% natural origin ingredients that revives the natural color of the lips with a glowing finish for 24 hour hydration. I love honey. I love the scent of honey. I like the idea of honey in my products. So this is like... It's very tempting. This to me seems like an impulse buy. Like maybe I'll see it and pick it up or I kind of wish the Sephora sale was still happening because I would easily pick one up right now. But I wonder how much it smells of honey. Like if it has an actual honey scent or if it's just mm, not really there. But the shades are beautiful. I like a tinted lip balm. I, like I said, like any lip product is very easy. They have really pretty colors like poppies, corals, pinks, plummies. They have a bit of everything. This again is going to be a peut-être. It's a maybe. Like I'm not, like I, I keep going back and forth between like, I really don't need this, I don't want this, and then being like, oh, but it's honey and it looks pretty. You know what I mean? And I love the gold tube. The gold packaging is also really nice. I'm gonna say it's a peut-être, it's a maybe. This is going to either be completely ignored or it's going to be an impulse buy. There's no in between here. Okay, moving on to Sicily. They have a new cushion foundation. This is the Fito Blanc Cushion Foundation. And okay, yeah, that's, that's the product here. So the expertise of Fito Blanc skincare in a cushion foundation. I do enjoy a cushion foundation. Um, so, there are three shades to choose from. First of all, let's start with the roast aspect. Uh, it's described as something that immediately offers optimal correction of the complexion and creates a perfect skin effect, ensuring a radiant result with a glowing finish. It's adjustable coverage, makes it possible to hide imperfections and blend the skin's texture. Um, it's supposed to be like anti-pollution. It has skincare in it, so if you use it day after day, your skin is going to get better. 
Mm, there's three shades. <laughs> like, what else is there to say? There is white opal, white pearl, and light rose. Even the light rose might not even fit me but then again like the shade range for sisley has always been like so bizarre like a lot of their foundations i find like they skip so much like from one to two like one is like a light cool and then two is like three shades darker and warmer like there's not much nuance in between the shades so i don't know what these shades are like other than like really uh narrow in variety so obviously this is a non merci for me the price for this is 165 canadian plus tax so no like i would have to tr no merci i would have to try it on in person and make sure it's like a perfect match for me which i doubt it would be wow hmm. no merci but like I, th I think for some people like if you can wear this and like if you like a cushion foundation this might be for you because i know a lot of people like i like sisley I think I prefer their eye products, like eyeshadows, eyeliners, lip products. I like their lipsticks a lot. Uh, foundations, it really is hit or miss with the shade range. Like I would really encourage you to try it on in store versus online. Like unless you have your shade match, then you can buy it online. But I would not recommend just blind buying a foundation from them online. Sorry, it's just like it's really diff it's difficult, and. But like I said, like some people love cushions. I I mean, I have cushion foundations that I like, but I can't say that like I only want to wear a cushion foundation. Um, if these shades are for you and you like a cushion foundation with skincare, it's probably for you. For me, it's gonna be a no merci. Okay, next up is something that's new, but it's been out for a few weeks now. This is a new beauty item from Gucci Beauty. So they have come out with their range of liquid lipsticks. They have had bullet lipsticks for years. No, I think that's how they first started with their beauty collection is with their bu uh, bullet lipsticks, like satin finish, matte finish, and like a, a sheer, almost like a lip tint. I've tried them. I like them. They're great. And now they have liquid formulas. Um, I don't see myself wanting or wearing liquid lipsticks right now for the time being. Right now, I'm enjoying more of glossy finishes, just like a glossy pout. These colors are permanent, they're not limited edition, so they're going to be around for some time. And I imagine that they will keep adding more colors to this range. A lot of these shades that I'm seeing here, the numbers are reminiscent to the numbers and names from the bullet lipstick collection so i think that they are offering similar colors just in a liquid lipstick format i'm certain that these are nice i, I know a few of you picked these up during the sephora sale that has happened a few weeks ago these look good like i'm sure that they are nice products the wand looks really nice and narrow which looks perfect for just applying the color evenly but right now I really just don't need this and I don't want this. So it's gonna be a no merci for me for the Gucci liquid lipsticks. Okay, next up is something from Hourglass. Now they have come out with these waterproof gel liners. Interesting. They don't have that many colors to choose from, but they've come out with just like a few basic shades for waterproof liners. So they have a brown, a black, a bronze metallic, an emerald and a chestnut like nothing like they didn't reinvent the wheel here but listen those are all pretty great staples to have in your collection for waterproof liners these are supposed to be waterproof and long wearing i haven't tried these yet but they're supposed to be very creamy um which is interesting i love a waterproof liner i think that's my default liner that I prefer just because I like to put it in the top waterline and it's just my favorite except for the Victoria Beckham liners those are also really great they're not waterproof but they stay in place really nicely um I don't know if I need a new liner right now I've been trying the new Sisley waterproof liners those are great i love them i definitely want to get more of those there's nothing wrong with these ones here from hourglass it's just i don't think i need these 
the colors look pretty they look nice maybe if i can see them in store and just do like a little swatch just to see how creamy they are because they do look nice and i like hourglass as a brand like their blushes are amazing i love them so much so i think this is going to be another peut another maybe i think in reality it's just an item that i'm not going to get right away this is permanent it's not limited edition i don't need any one of these maybe i would get the bronze metallic shade because that's always nice to just put in the bottom waterline to add a pop of color so for the time being it's going to be a non merci because i just don't really need it but like more down the line i'll pick one up eventually just not right now but let me know because like i said some people really love hourglass which makes sense because it's a great brand so if you have these already if you've tried them out sound off in the comments below okay so i have to talk about something that i saw on the danessa myrick's instagram page a couple days ago this looks so good it looks so intriguing so it's from her brand danessa myrick's and it's called the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. A blurring balm powder. It's going to be available at Sephora April 29th. So I don't know if the video will be up by then. We'll see. So it's a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration. Interesting. So there is one universal shade, like a translucent shade, that's supposed to prime, blur, and set. And then there are 10 tinted shades that are supposed to prime, cover, blur, and set. And we have some models here who have like bare face and then with this blurring balm powder. And what I really appreciate about Danessa Myricks is that she uses models who are above the age of 18. She uses models with uh, texture on their skin. So if you are above the age of 18 and have texture, you can have a better idea of how her products are going to work. So this looks really interesting. It kind of seems to just like blur, cover at the same time. And it's like an interesting texture. It looks like a balm that can be used as a powder. I'm just, I'm so intrigued. I'm so intrigued. And it seems like it offers a nice amount of coverage too, but what I'm curious about and maybe what I'm worried is that maybe this will be really heavy because it is a balm. So I'm like, is this going to just settle into pores? Is it going to look heavy? But on the models here, it looks really natural. I'm just really, I'm very intrigued. I'm very perplexed by a balm powder. It looks very natural. Maybe it's going to be just like perfect for like evening out everything and just adding a little bit of coverage and I, I like the idea of blurring at the same time so I think this is a wee I think it's gonna be a wee for me I'm just so curious like what is this product like how do I how do I use it you know so Danessa Myrick says you can use it with like a damp makeup sponge to tap it in but you can also use a big fluffy brush to swirl it on top like a powder or you can use your fingertips to dab it on. You can also use different shades, like a, a darker shade to contour, a lighter shade to highlight. I, like, listen, I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued. So it's going to be a wee for me. I just need to figure out what shade to get. But it's going to be a wee. Okay, last but not least, I saw something here by... I think it's pronounced Kayali or Kayali, I'm sorry. But this is, uh, I believe, Huda Beauty's brand or part of the Huda Beauty umbrella. This is her fragrance collection. And I have tried a couple of these. These are the Gourmand Vanilla perfumes and I love them so much. So this is a mini perfume set of four of the signature Kayali uh, gorgeous scents. I think I've tried vanilla, but the vanilla cocoa sounds like something I would really enjoy. These are warm and spicy, a little bit floral, very, very vanilla. I think if you enjoy like Lancôme, La Vie est Belle, this is definitely your perfume set. Now, I just wish that the Sephora sale was still going on because I would definitely pick this up with a discount for sure. Because uh, I don't know if I would like all four of these, but 
maybe. And I guess I could gift some of these if I didn't like them. But I just love these like vanilla, creamy, gourmand perfumes. And I like the little set here. I like being able to test out different products. And I realized recently that not all Sephora's carry this perfume collection. It's very annoying. I was going to go try it in person, but for some reason, sometimes it's only available on the Sephora site and not actually in store. And so I should try a different location to see if they'll have it in store to test out. But this is maybe, but it's not limited edition. It's going to be around for a while. So maybe next Sephora sale, I can get these because I just, I love them. I love how vanilla they are. They're just very decadent and very sweet and I enjoy them. So I suppose that a lot of these are not peut-être, they're not maybes, they're plus tard, they're a later in time, I will more than likely collect these. But sound off down below, let me know what you think, what do you think of this roundup of these will I buy it, oui, non merci, let us know what is pulling your heartstrings in the near future. I love doing this series because there's always so much new on the market, like I could do, I think I do one of these almost every other week, every two weeks, and there's always something new to talk about. So uh, make sure you're subscribed. If you like this type of content, I talk a lot about new and upcoming releases. I do a lot of tutorials and get ready with me. I recently did a video on the new Dior summer collection. It is what I'm wearing on my eyes and on my lips as well. Make sure you go check that out and make sure you're subscribed. So yeah, that is today's video. So. Thank you so much for stopping. Bye. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.